what's up guys it's michael lee here back with another video for it's so for what.com this time we're in courtyards and city place gonna be checking out a one bedroom one bad let's go for a lot of work in one of your best neighborhoods of your choice but it allows you to roll those renovation costs I did want to show you guys what it's like going from the elevator to the unit. The elevator did take me to the fourth floor, which is why it's unit 405. As you see, there's a little quick shot of the courtyard there. I did have to walk quite a bit to get to the unit from the elevator. That could be a problem for some if you are having to carry in groceries. But I know a lot of times one of the building amenities could be maybe a cart that is downstairs on the first floor that can help you with that. Um, most condominiums in South Florida do have those. Um, I just wanted to show you what the actual access is getting to and from the unit. All right guys, so welcome to Unit 405 and Courtyards and City Place. We're gonna start off with a tour of the one bedroom, one bath. Asking price is $409,000. So we're gonna start off to the right here and just check out the only bathroom in the property, which is gonna have your tub, shower combination, as well as your vanity. Pretty spacious, actually. So remember, this is gonna be used for your guest as well as yourself. Stainless steel. Always nice. American Standard, what it looks like. I could be wrong. Nope, moan. But American Standard does have the same one like that. So, always like those square shower heads. Those are great for bringing fall shower heads. All right, so right off the bathroom is going to be your only bedroom, which is going to be the master or owner suite. Wonderful floors, by the way. Brand new, looks like. Polished to perfection. As you see, they have it slightly staged with a bedroom set well not even a set just a bit just to give you an idea of what size it is i believe this is a queen looks like a queen a little decor in there in the corner as you see high ceilings but you do have a courtyard facing view so you're not really facing the street so i can get you the view right there and then there's also a view from the living room as well so you do have a view of the street as well maybe you'll have somebody coming to visit you can go ahead and call down say hey you're at the right gate coming through there which is pretty convenient as well tv wall mount of course everyone has those and we're going to enter through the living room same flooring throughout except in the bathroom as you see it is slightly staged with the living room set here with a couch and a chair with a lamp to the side a little small decor on the walls um, but it is a good little size if you are by yourself um, or you just have a spouse, you and her or him living here. So you have a nice dining table, a little small balcony setup, not anything built for furniture, but you can just stand out there for a slight second. Not much room, but there is a view, like I said, of the courtyard there. So you don't have just a street view, you have a courtyard view as well. I'll take you over here to the kitchen. Not stainless steel appliances, but appliances nonetheless. I think this is not granite, but it's for mica countertops as well. No farm sink, but it's nice. It's standard. It's pretty much, it'll do the job for you. You know, so, you know, if you're working a lot or you're just coming just down to the area, very, very nice start at home. You got a little small pantry here for your snacks. Everybody loves those. So really nice, straight to the point, little window here for the natural light, not a, a lot of natural light in here as well actually, so that's really nice. Alright, so I just wanted to share a few amenities with you guys about the building in particular. It does have about 296 units in the building, it was built in 2001. You're pretty much close to everything, you're close to the Cheesecake Factory, you're close to Planta, you're close to the movie theater, you're right across the street from the Kravis Center, which I just attended the show which was fantastic most recently. Uh, the building property manager, Sharon, shared a lot of great information with me. They do have a swimming pool here. They do have a nice studio that was renovated for your office work if you need to. They do have that there as well. I'll try to get it in a video to show that as well towards the end of the video if I can. Uh, there is walking distance, like I said, to Cheesecake Factory, to the Crabber Center, to the Convention Center, to Hilton. 
West Palm Beach, the hotel across the street. If you have more than a few guests that can't stay here, then you can put them across the street as well. All right, guys. So I was able to go back into the lobby, and here's what you're going to see in the lobby once you enter into the main building. Uh, you have a little slight bar set up as well as a television, a little table for just general entertainment as well. Uh, I was also able to go and check out the pool. It was pretty packed. It was a beautiful day in South Florida, so I didn't want to get too much of a great shot of the pool because you had a lot of people there. So I just kind of stood off to the side and showed you just what the pool area looks like, which was fantastic. Also, this is the media room that I mentioned earlier in the video as well. It was perfect for movies, cards, if you just wanted to go and have a night out and enjoy it with your spouse or have a couple of friends over, maybe sitting in the bar area in the lobby as well as watching a movie in the back. So it was a very nice thing that she had suggested for me. So I really appreciated her for that. Included here. So if you guys like this content, like seeing what's on the market, like I said, this property is on the market for $409,000, one bedroom, one bath, 800 square feet, one of the largest one bedrooms in the development of courtyards at City Place. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to go to the website, it's so for what.com. If you guys have any additional questions, whether you guys are moving from out of state or you guys are looking to upgrade or downgrade, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow the channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.